Hello, welcome back to English One. This is Unit Nine, Part Two, with your Professor Neil and his TA, Yang He. Hello, Yang He. Hello, Professor Neil. Okay, what did you do today? Hmm.、Uh, sorry, I don't remember. Okay, didn't you practice the piano?、Uh, yes, 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 yes. And I think students can hear the piano in the background. Ah, this music. Yes, they can hear the music. Yes,、uh, it's、uh, Elton John. Elton John's music playing quietly in the background on the piano. Sacrifice, sacrifice.、Mm. It's a song title, which he sang a long time ago in the past. So last unit we started talking of. Oh, sorry, not last unit. This unit, last section, part one, we introduced the notions of past, present, and future, and that the past is before now, and the present is now, and. One way of showing this is using time expressions, and the other way is showing it with verb tense. So, if you have a verb like go, regular, irregular. It's irregular. We mentioned regular and irregular. Go is an irregular verb, and so the past tense of go is went. Went. And we're going to go and practice that now. In the future, we would say will go. So we will go now and practice it. So here, as you can see, places they went. You can see here went. So we're using the past tense of go. Did he go to the post office on Monday? So we're talking about him. Did he go to the post office on Monday? And so here we've got post office. So we're like, no, he didn't. So let's look at this in a bit more detail. So did he go to the post office on Monday? So the book. Gave you an option of yes or no, but here we've got an X, so we'd say no, he didn't. And notice in the book it just stops, but this bit you don't repeat because it's in the question. See,、so、no, he didn't go to the post office on Monday. We've got time expression, and we've got past tense. But we have two options here. We've got post office and we've got bank. So. I'm going to do a bit more than the book. I'm going to ask you a question, a w question. Where did he go on Monday?、Uh, he went to the bank. He went to the bank on Monday. All right. So here, did he go to the post office on Monday? No, he didn't. Where did he go? He went to the bank. So we got went here, which is the past tense of go. So notice that it's useful to start asking to people by asking them a yes/no, and then follow it up with a w question for more information. Information. Useful, useful. I have to write down. Start with the yes/no question, and if you want more information, use w question. Am I correct, Professor? You are correct. Let's practice with you. So, talking about Tuesday, did he go to the hospital on Tuesday? No, he didn't go to the hospital on Tuesday. All right. So, the work question: Where did he go on Tuesday? He went to the restaurant. He went to the restaurant.、So、same pattern. Same pattern. Same pattern. Write down. Professor might give me homework. Yes, you can expect homework's going to come. So, let's look at the, our next、uh, person. Did she go to the hair salon on Wednesday?、Mm, no, she didn't. Go to the hair salon on Wednesday. Yeah. So even though hair salons here on Tuesday, she didn't go on Wednesday. So no, she didn't. So we can ask the question. What question? Yeah, the work question. Where did she go on Wednesday?、Mm, on Wednesday, she went to the convenience store. She went to the convenience store. So here we go. Oh, the convenience store. So a yes/no question followed by a were question. Did 
did they, because there are two people, go to the jewellery store on Thursday? No, they didn't go to the jewellery store on Thursday. Where did they go on Thursday? They went to the supermarket. They went to the supermarket. So all this is around the verb go. Go, go, but in past tense. Here in Speaking 2, on the next page, we're going to look at a few more verbs. Many more verbs, not just go. So here we have the verbs take pictures, have a party, work late. So notice how take, have, work, meet, bake, practice on. They are in their base form, their present tense form. So like here, what did they do on Tuesday? No Tuesday here, Tuesday before then. They bought presents. So bought, bought is the past tense of buy. It's an irregular verb. So we're going to practice it. Our first candidate, boy, boy. our first yes, actor, our first boy, Yonghee. What did he do on Thursday? He baked muffins. He baked muffins. <laughs> I didn't know what those uh, things were. Yeah, they could have been fairy cakes. In the UK, we call them fairy cakes. Oh. And in America, they call them muffins. Mm. Sounds a bit strange to me. Muffins, uh, muffins. Yes. What did he do on Friday? Friday, he wrote a report. Yes, wrote a report. Mm -hmm. So, which, what? This is the past tense of which verb? Right, write down, write down my verb. Right, right. right. I wrote many, many notes during yes. this lecture video. So what did he do on Saturday? On Saturday, he met a friend. Yes. And Sunday, practiced. Ooh, I like this boy. Yes, what did he do on Sunday? Uh, he practiced the piano, like me. He practiced the piano. And you can hear that piano playing in the background. My piano. A bit of Elton John today. Elton John, Elton John. Piano. But notice how here it said, what did the people do last week? Last week is a time expression. So I'm going to go a little further than the book here. And this is something a little further. You could say, what? Not what did the... Yeah, change that. What did he do last week? Now, here, the idea of this is a little practice towards guiding towards saying everything. Everything. So you can, for example, you can say, Last week, he baked muffins on Thursday, comma, wrote a report on Friday, comma, met a friend on Saturday, comma, and, and practiced the piano on Sunday. So that says everything he did last week from Thursday, from Thursday to Sunday. So it's a way to say everything he did last week that we know. Uh, professor, is in my imagination this one smells like homework? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit like Brad Pitt. <laughs> oh, topical. Alright. And then, let's look at the lady. What did she do on Thursday? She went to the hair salon and got a haircut. Yes, yeah, she got a haircut. She got a haircut. What did she do on Friday? She, she worked, worked hard. Oh, close. She worked late. Oh, she worked late. Oh, yeah. Look at the clock. Eight in the evening. She's to work. Yes. What did she do on Saturday? She bought clothes. Where did she go? She went to the department store. And what did she do? She shopped. Yes. 
She went shopping. Oh, she went shopping. Yeah, I was trying to help you, Yonghi, but yeah, she went shopping. I, I, I escaped. No, I chose everything except uh, yes. Professor New. Yeah, except the one in the book. <laughs> All right, what did she do on Sunday? Uh, she took photo of a tree. <laughs> yes, she took photo of a tree. Uh, she took pictures, but yes, you could say she took photos. That is true. You, we say we took photos, we took pictures, we used both forms. A little extra here. Saturday and Sunday are the weekend. So you could ask, what did she do on the weekend? On the weekend, she went shopping and she took pictures. Yes, she went shopping and took pictures. Notice here, because you use and, you don't need to use she twice. So again, we can ask the question for her about last week. What did she do last week? And again, we can say the full thing. Last week, she got a haircut on Thursday, worked late on Friday, went shopping on Saturday, and took pictures on Sunday. She can say the full thing. And again, with the couple here, the only difference here is we say they. They. All right? They played a board game. They bought a computer. All right? And what did they do on the weekend? Same thing. They had a party and they watched a movie. What did they do last week? Well, I'm going to leave that one for homework. Because for now, we want to go on and leave you with a bit of self-practice. And in self-practice, you might want to do things like put the regular verbs into their right box. If you've got like do, do would go into irregular, as did. Wash will go wash, studied and went, and so on. You have to fill out the rest yourself. So those, that's some self-practice. Something to do at home in your free time. Lucky you. Don't thank me. <laughs> classroom activity. Something we can do when we get back to classroom here. One little lie. We're just gonna little just gonna do a little practice here. So Yonghi, don't answer. Don't answer. I'm gonna say some things about me. Alright? Guess which one is a lie? Which one is the false sentence? Fake, fake, fake. Yes, here we go. Yesterday I did some exercise. Three days ago, I washed my car. The day before yesterday, I looked at my phone. Today, I went into the kitchen in my home. Mm, I think first one, three days ago, I washed my car is uh, false. Why do you think three days ago, I washed my car is false? Uh, as far as I know, Professor Neil does not have a car. I don't have a car. Very good, Young He. Well, oh, yes. Inspector Young He. Inspector Gadget. Yes, very good. <laughs> what was what's that? This is Inspector Gadget. Ah, okay. Well, you just solved the crime. You solved the crime. That's why I didn't. Co All right. So yes, we'll practice that when we get back. There you go. I never seen Professor Neil driving a car. No, you, you'd see the picture in this week's exercise of me driving my scooter, my red scooter. I drive a red scooter out and about. When I'm out, when I'm out and about, I don't drive a car. I drive my scooter when I'm out and about. This classroom activity, we're going to leave to next time. Uh, we're going to leave to when we get back to class because you need more than just one or two people. So let's skip by that one. This classroom activity, well, definitely you need to be in the classroom to do this one. Yeah, we need, an, uh, we need to roll the dice. Yeah, and you, you need two or three people, so no fun. Let's move on. But listening, we can do this. We can do this one. I know him. You, yes. Not in person. Well, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> All right, sir. If you, he, his name is Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, a famous American, which is why I'm... Of the people, for the people, by the people. Wow, Yonghee. All right, let's do the listening. 
I like you. Let's do the listening. Yeah. So, listen to the biography about Abraham Lincoln and choose the best answer for each question. One, where was Lincoln born? In Illinois or in Kentucky? What did he study? Medicine or law? What party did he join? Now, party is political party. The Republican Party, Donald Trump's party, or the Democratic Party? No, John Biden. Joe Biden's party. No, Joe Biden. Joe Biden is Democrat Party. Trump is Republican Party, amazingly. Uh, what did you, he do at Gettysburg? Get married or give a speech? When did the war end? When did the American Civil War end? In 1863 or in 1865? And where was he shot? In his home at a theatre. So where was he shot and killed, assassinated, sadly, and taken from this world? So listen up, I will read it, and you, and then afterwards we will give you the answer. So first, listen. Abraham Lincoln was born in Kentucky. Question number one. Not yet, not yet. He studied law at university. Later, he joined the Republican Party. During the American Civil War, he gave a speech at Gettysburg. The American Civil War ended in 1865. In the same year, Abraham Lincoln was shot at a theatre. So, let's give you the answers then. Answers. So, I'll ask Yonghee the question. Where was Lincoln born? He was born in Kentucky. Yeah, he was born in Kentucky. Yonghi, have you been to Kentucky? Uh, yes. You have, yes. I've been to Kentucky. All right. When you were in Kentucky, did you visit the birthplace of Abraham Lincoln? No, I had to study. I went to the summer study uh, pro, uh, class. Oh, well, that's a great shame. So that, you could have, when you were there, visited the... A uh, boyhood home of Abraham Lincoln. That little house mm. is where Abraham Lincoln was, lives, and you can visit it today. I feel really sad. I should have done that. Yeah, but Kentucky is a big, big place. I think Kentucky is about this ten times bigger than Korea. I know. Yeah, so it, it's my my uh, Kentucky University was humongous. It was about the size of Korea. Mm. Yes. All right. So that's the first one. What did he study? He studied the law. At university, yes. He studied law at university, like uh, Barack Obama. Mm. What party did he join? He joined the Republican Party. Yeah, the Republican Party was Abraham Lincoln's party. And what did he do at Gettysburg? I know this. He gave a speech of the people, for the people, by the people. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Therefore, the country, nation, should be ruled by men. By people. <laughs> Notice how he skipped the old women thing. <laughs> yes, he's... But yes, an important figure in history and famous for his speech. At Gettysburg, I think a two-minute speech? Mm -hmm. Apparently the person after him spoke for one hour and no one, nobody remembers who he is. Mm. Speech has to be short. And have a good beginning. Mm. When did the war end? The war uh, ended in... 1865. Yes, the American Civil War. And where was he shot? 
He was shot at a theatre. Yes. The assassination of President Lincoln. Lincoln was shot in 1865. This guy doesn't look too worried. <laughs> More worried about his flute. Mm. It's a bit funny. And this lady looks bored. That's not good. All right, well, that's the uh, Abraham Lincoln, an interesting man who changed history. He freed the slavery. He helped free the slaves. Mm. That's important. Uh, he had very good pronunciation, but we're not doing the pronunciation for today. We're going to skip that. We've done a lot of that. We're going to look at something that is related to homework. So we have the reading and writing. So the last thing we're going to be looking at is the reading. And we have here a postcard. A postcard. So Yongi, if you read the postcard, just read it. And, and then we'll do an example for the students to do. Okay. Uh, dear Kwame, I loved London. The weather was great, and I did lots of fun things. I walked across the Tower Bridge, and so Big Ben. Ooh. I ate fish and chips for dinner. I also met our friend Ethel. I told her about life in New York. She said, it sounds exciting. We went shopping and I bought you a present. See you again soon, Zoe. Very good. So you notice there, uh, in the picture, this is London. This is London. And as we clicked on, all right, as Yongi said, Zoe, Zoe visited London. And she said the weather was great, which I cannot believe because the weather, well, sometimes the weather's good. Maybe she visited in uh, July. Maybe July got, and August. Yeah, she probably got lucky. And as she said, she walked across Tower Bridge. This is Tower Bridge. Tower, this is Tower Bridge. I wish I could visit there. Yes. Well, oh. when, when I lived in London, I used to ride my bicycle over this bridge and go to work my previous life mm. when i lived in london this building the shard didn't exist but this ship did i went on that ship when i lived in london hms belfast mm. i had a office party on that mm. ship it was very fun got a little drunk it was a good party i really enjoyed myself and then there's big ben here is big ben Actually, the clock is Big Ben. The clock is Big the Ben. The rest is Parliament. Yeah, here's Boudicca. Boudicca. And that is the Houses of Parliament. And this is not London Bridge. <laughs> Just so you know. Uh, which bridge is... I think that's the Embankment Bridge. Which makes no sense. TMI. Yeah, so, okay, all right. And, all right, fish and chips. That's the traditional English food. This is a fish and chip shop. If you go to London... And you want a fat, greasy meal, and you fried, want to be really here. I have a fish chips. Notice it says takeaway. Takeaway. You go there, and you take it to your home, and eat it there. Great fish and chip shop. Oh, forecast. Very clever that the chipping forecast. So yes, that's the postcard, and we're going to ask you for homework. To mm. Write something similar. So here, Yonghi, if you just read. So you got Dear Neil, this one's from Yonghi. Dear Neil, I loved... Oh, well, wait, where is it? The weather Busan. was... Busan. Yes, the weather was great. The weather was great and I did lots of fun things. I walked... Oh, hang on, let me change that. So we change that, it should really say... Uh, I walked across Tadepo Beach. Oh, very nice. And so many people and played in the ocean and I ate samgyeopsal for dinner I also met my friend Gucci Oli I told him about life in K 
Korea. He said it sounds awesome. We went shopping and I bought you a Samsung Notepad. Oh, thank you. See you again soon. Nyong Hee. Yes. So as we said, all right, this one is to Neil from Yong Hee. And where is it, Yong Hee? Yong Hee is in Busan. 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 There we go, Busan. And she said she bought me a Samsung Notepad. That's very nice of you. So we have some nice pictures of Busan there. That's a postcard. A real young man buying Samsung Notepad. Oh, well. <laughs> well, that's going to come up in homework. You will have to send me a postcard. All right. For now, that leaves the grammar review, which, as usual, is self-study. And here, part D, write true sentences about your day yesterday. This one will probably come up in homework too. A lot of homework Okay, so, well, thank you for joining us. This was English 1. This is the end of part 2, which equals the end of unit 9. Ooh, finished! Yeah, thank you very much. Have a nice week. Have a nice time. And leave any comments or things in the section below. And we'll bye. Bye!